acrylic corner. These are my Wilkinson's acrylics. One or two there that are not the Galleria. There, I can't get them in Wilkinson's. Uh, that one is, is nearly empty tub of uh, Galleria, so half a litre, uh, 500 mil. Last rages, but you have to pay for that. That's a good saturated colour. This my, one of my drawers with my Masterson stuff in. Can you see that? Uh, so there's my Masterson membranes for the Stay Wet palette. Uh, now it's come down into further into the drawer. I can't really see what I'm looking at. Right, there's a drawer with a lot of spare spare ones. I, when I get my beer mix from Wilkinson's, I've got three cadmium reds here. I just stock up on the colours I use a lot of. And uh, for one pound fifty for two uh, for one for a two hundred mil tube is very very good value. Okay, so quick spin around the rest of the mess before I move the easel I have all those brushes, I don't use them I've just sentimentally attached to them they've been there since my oil painting days oops sorry I've got to just get you on to, to there now the portrait format for this one well for this attempt anyway uh, I'm going to do a sort of a country lane I try to do a country lane um, with with an oak tree in winter or late autumn with still some colour on it uh, so I'll put in a well I need some yellow so there's my Wilkinson yellow I don't get anything from Wilkinson's not even a cheap tube of paint but I'm telling you because if, if you're new to acrylic or you want to try acrylic and you've got access to in the UK to a Wilkinson store, go in and buy the basic colours. No, no, the, the, the ones they've got are uh, Cerulean, which are, I've got a tube of, I don't really use it a lot. Ultramarine black, burnt umber, uh, burnt sienna, cadmium red, crimson red, orange, uh, probably a couple of others. Oh yes, there's Viridian and there's uh, Sap Green. So that's a good good range really. Uh, I love using black and uh, to make green, help make greens and other things. So um, I, I'll put in a, a, where I'm going to put a sky. I'm going to just try brush this. This 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 is. Um, this is a cheap watercolour paper. I don't know if it's 100. And, well, I don't know what it is. I bought it 20 sheets, very cheaply off on eBay, but it's not very good for, for my sort of watercolouring. It's very slick. So I've just coated it with uh, some dilute PVA glue in this bottle. This was PVA varnish in there that I bought, but you can make your varnish from just diluting a bit of uh, PVA glue. So we'll, we'll put in a sort of a, 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 a tree. Let's go off the off the page here. So this is a how to paint winter trees, winter scene, and we'll put in some we can develop that as we go along. We'll put a bit of burnt sienna in for a bit of bit of warm leaves still on the on the tree here and there uh, and then we'll put a, a bit of a bank so we'll have a nice greeny reddy yellowy I like mixing a bit of red with my colour my greens put plenty of ivy on this tree I love ivy she don't love me though <laughs> right now we're, we're going some, with some darker greens, so a bit of viridium, a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of red, shadow. Plenty of colour. Oh, this is all going to be changed. I don't think that 
if you do this, you're going to um, worry about going over it. The whole point about acrylic painting, for me, is that you can make a statement and it dries very quickly, you go over it again until you get what you want. So we'll put a bit of a bank just showing the other side here. And all that. We can put some bit of distance. Okay, now we'll put a bit of a, a road in. I just clean the brush. Don't worry about the sky yet. I don't usually paint on white with, with acrylic or oil because whatever you put on looks darker because of the contrast. Obviously, you've got white and you've got black. And because what you put on against white always looks very much darker because of the, the contrast. But And that's why you paint a mid-colour ground so that you can... It, it, it'll give more of a, an accurate... Uh, reading of, of the contrast but so the same if you're painting on black whatever you what however light you put on whatever light you put on like color you put on will look brilliant by comparison too brilliant so you overcompensate so you go lighter to, to reduce the contrast but when you finish the painting it's all either too dark or too light but it takes a bit of experience to, to find all this out and, 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 and practice it so let's have a bit of a down there. I'm not sure what colour that's going to be in the end but all right okay so that's, that's a sort of a design coming. I'm not copying any uh, anything I'm just making this up and we can put a bit of a uh, bit of scrubby trees in the, in the background. Okay, so we'll stiffen up this left hand side. I'm using a, a varnish brush, an inch Pro Art varnish brush. Very good for these sort of paintings. Stay off the, the thin brushes, the little brushes, for as long as possible, is my advice. We can put some bit of, bit of watery colour in. in here. Right, let's get some nice dark in there. Remember we're making a painting, not a, not a portrait of, it, of anything in particular. Right, let's do a bit of sky now. So we'll... A bit more blue in there I think. Bit of ochre. Have to buy the ochre at the right price. Well, the right price, but but some colours you can't get cheap, or Wilkinsons don't supply them. But look, look, look out, look online. Go to your local art shop. Give them some business as well. Lovely mess. 
a bit lighter, a bit, a bit of red with my sky mix, uh, my my yellow ochre for some sort of so you'll find that this is all drying very quickly. I've got a nice mount to put this in afterwards, so I'll show you, make sure my fingers are clean. Let's just take those off. I had to, I've, I've put masking tape around all this. Uh, oh, it's a lovely, lovely mount I found out. I've got three of them. It'd be nice in there. Get some, get some bit of grey for the sky, but I don't want a heavy sky. Not like my uh, my Brittany one. Well, my Brittany coastal scenes, which I love doing. Still a little bit light. That is so. Uh, uh, look, uh, it's a bit dark. We need, we need, we need light in that sky. It's a bright autumn day. It must have a colour, and it's no good to bring white, pure white. You don't want nothing's pure white, other than probably fence posts and bristly buildings. Okay, well that that'll do that'll do for now. Let's let's go back onto this this path now. So we want a bit of grey. So. Bit of red. I've had to put the artificial light overhead because it is pouring down and very very grey. I want to do, do this here now, I want some nice nicer earthy colours. Nice thick Bit over there, bit of ready deep green colour. Right, now we'll put in some dark greens in here. And we'll put in some ivy. Right now we'll uh, see what we can do with these trunks on here. So a sort of uh, grey sort of brownie. I might have to do this with a rigger. I 
I'll go over this again with the ivy. Right, I'll use the bigger. Need plenty of water though because it uh, This sky is dry, I'll, I'll uh, <coughs> put in some more leaves and things. But I see ivy going up on trees I like. It's just a mix of uh, Burnt Sienna and, and Ultramarine. Holding the rigger right at the tip so I give a more random, whoops, that done, more random stroke. But at these ends, uh, where we're going to put the uh, straggly bits. Let's add a bit of ivy to that now. So a very dark ivy green. So we'll have some fruit in it. Viridian is a, I don't use it in watercolour, but it's a very, very good colour in oil and acrylic. It mixes very well with alizarin crimson or crimson. It makes very rich, warm or cool, dark, depending on how much of one or the other you put in your mix. So let's go in with let's put in some some bit of bit of bit of leaves. Oops. That's probably just a bit. I might have to go over that bit, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. Because we can do that at any any time. Right, now we're going with the old Viridian. And the yellow. Red. Bit of black. Okay, let's go in with this. Stippling it. So over the bits that you've mucked up. You can go over. Right up in the top. You get ivy smothering trees. I think it just uses the tree for support rather than to kill. I don't think it 
Well, I'm not a botanist. Either. I don't know if you're still alive. We've got a botanist that lives or comes from around this area where I live, near Castle and Wellington. It's um, David Bellamy and his brother Gervais Bellamy. I think if he's still alive, he was he was in uh, Car Shorten when I first realised that he lived here. I'm just going to put a bit of shadow in there. Just lose some, lose some of this. They make good stipple brushes, don't they? I don't use enough stipple. As you can see, some darker shadow on the here. Go mad now. Right, okay, so that's coming on. It's always to pull back a bit of the light. Right, let's use another brush. I'll go back and do some of that because that's nearly dry. But I want to find some background, so that blue, bit of crimson. to change against the tree. I can go back over that tree, don't worry. I'll put lighter colours over some of that. Let's get in there. Okay. The object is making a picture. A pleasing picture, whether it's abstract, semi-abstract, abstract impression is what I call some of my stuff. It's got to look nice. Right, Viridian, Crimson, Lemon Yellow, all Wilkinson's colour. So let's just bring some of this out here. some lighter coloured twigs coming out of that when we get around to it. This is only a small picture, about seven and a half by, well, whatever. So it's a, it won't be, it'll be smaller in the frame because it's higher than the aperture that I've got. But let's say it's 11 by, 11 by seven and three quarters inches, that is. Uh, I, need some, I need some rag. Right, right, right. Oh, right, another. What have we got here? Why Valley Brewery? <coughs> I don't know, we've collected these over the years. Right, now I want, to, I want to do something here. I'm not happy with that really, so I'm going to put in some. Some nice yellowy greens in there, but maybe a bit of white in with the yellow. That. I need more light coming into that so stuff, so I'm going to just a bit more of that sky. So nice bluey
bit of red, bit of ochre. Put some detail in that, some some trees. Just open this up a little bit. I just went a bit too heavy there, so I just paint that out. Right. Now I want some warmer colours in here. Oops. Um, light's really coming from there, isn't it? So we'll it's a bit lumpy there. The light Right, let's go back on the uh, sky now. Clean the brush. Need a, I, I use a big pot of water, about three litre pot. Wilkinson's did a, a tub of, uh, of um, cobalt. I, I, I'm not a lover of cobalt, it's not my main blue, it never has been. I like ultramarine. And you can mix ultramarine with cobalt, you can mix it with uh, cerulean. Alright, let's get that nice and Slightly, just a, it's an off-white, but it, these no, I will let that go go a bit uh, drier. Oh, 
Right, we'll get, we'll get some watery colours in, in this background, I think. And a bit darker on the floor. Then we can get some nice bit of light catching the edge of here. That needs a bit more dark, I think. I've got this to the sky now. I just want to get a light, some light on that bank, catching the light from behind. But I want that sky to, to happen. Right, um, bit of Right, where's me middle? Back to my burnt sienna and ultramarine. This, this brush is just too, too long for this. And I'm not very good at using it at that distance, excuse me. Let's find a, a smaller rigger here. Well, Oh, drat. Right, I know what I'm going to do with that. That's what I like. Putting these I let that bit dry. Go back over that uh, 
back here, see what we can do here. No, not like that. It's too dark. Giving an impression of of some light trunks and detail in the background here. Might be easy that way. Right, I need to sort out this area here now while, while that dries. Let's have a have some tea. Right, uh, a bit of yellow ochre in that road, I think. Right, I want to do this bank here on the back. We'll have a little bit of uh, light in there, I think. of orange going in here. It's a real good smell, isn't it? Of the ivy, well, we'll uh, do this 
something there, look at that nice bright ivy catching some some light. And that dark green, so a bit of red in with the uh, Dark enough, so I'll put a bit of black with that. Still not dark enough, that so red, black, yellow. Don't be fine to use black. put some twigs back into that. I want to get something in the top of that tree now. Come wrong there. Just making a bit of a stiffen colour here. This will be dark. It's really dark green now. Mixing colours is, is something you learn over the years, it's a sort of practice really. Oh, well, a little bit of light coming in through there. Now a bit of uh, twigs and branches back in the tree now.
that was some brilliant yellow now. So a bit of bit of white, bit of yellow, touch of viridian. Bit of ochre, just a, touch, just a little bit. This rigger, the bigger one. I've got a point on it now. Move it when I needed it. I don't think I'll find this easy. Quite a bit. Oh, I've nearly gone as far as I'm going to go with this. I really want to do some more in that and I'm not quite happy with that. I could make that a, a, um, like a track rather than a, a road. I, I'm not sure about that. I'm not going to do much more on it. I think that's enough for a demo. Um, I'll put the mount on it. And we'll, we'll see. Terry Harrison used to do this stuff with a sponge. He's a brilliant demonstrator and acrylic. I think he's doing more oils now. I haven't seen his demonstrations for a few years. Have a look at him on, uh, on uh, Google, his gallery. He used to demonstrate for us at Kosh Alter and Wellington Art Group. One or two things that, that's gone a little bit wrong there. I'll just do something with that and then we'll call that a day. I'm not, that's just a little bit too even there. So we'll go a bit, bit of lighter stuff. Just a 
bit of, bit of light, bit of yellow on it. That's it. I'll hold that to Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you now. There you go. So country lane. Bye bye.